a study that we did in conjunction with Teva Pharmaceuticals. And what we did was we looked at 1,300 women in a multi-center study, so a lot of different programs around the country. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out an alternative to intramuscular progesterone. Because progesterone shots hurt. You're given with a big needle uh, in the hip, and it's very unpleasant, very uncomfortable. And so uh, this company worked and developed a vaginal ring that's very similar to the Nuva ring, which is used worldwide for contraception. And now they've modified it so that it will deliver progesterone. And progesterone is very important in the luteal phase or the second half of an IVF cycle. So after we get the eggs out, after we fertilize them in the laboratory to make embryos, and after we put those embryos back in, something has got to keep that uterine lining in place. And it's important. You know, I mean, it's like so one question is, how is this new ring going to be important? And why is this important? Um, the answer is, is that people are looking for an alternative to the shots. Patients don't like progesterone shots because unlike the stimulation drugs, which are given with a little bitty needle just underneath the skin, progesterone shots are a big needle in the hip, and it's really uncomfortable. It causes a lot of discomfort, and those shots have to be taken every day. So the ring is the alternative that allows us to deliver progesterone very effectively, vaginally, and it goes in once a week. So you put the ring in, and you forget about it. And the next week, you take it out, you replace the ring. And it works very, very well. The study that we're presenting here in San Diego today is looking at 1,300 women who used either a progesterone vaginal gel, Cronone, which is what we currently use in our practice, or this progesterone vaginal ring. And what we found was, was that patients were satisfied with both. So both worked very well. The vaginal ring worked well. The Cronone worked well. The vaginal ring had very good acceptance. And the Cronone had very good acceptance. If you look at figure four, you can see that we asked women who had previously used a different kind of progesterone medication how they would compare the current medication that they got in this trial to what they had used previously. And the progesterone gel is in red or pink, and the progesterone ring is in purple or lighter purple. And so you can see that, you know, 84% of women thought that the progesterone vaginal ring was less messy than something they had used before, compared to 36% who used the progesterone gel. 77% thought it was more convenient than what they had used before. Another 77% thought that it was less stressful to use a progesterone vaginal ring than what they had used before. And 62% thought that it caused less vaginal irritation and leakage than the product that they might have used before. So the bottom line is, is that compared to previous progesterone supplementation, over 90% of the users who use the vaginal ring and 83% of users who use the vaginal gel thought that it was preferred, they preferred this to what they had used in the past. In addition, um, as we talked about in figure four, the overwhelming majority of patients thought that the ring was uh, less messy, uh, more convenient to use, less stressful to use than what they had used in the past. And so we therefore think that the progesterone vaginal ring represents a really good alternative for progesterone luteal phase support, as does Cronin. You know, in our practice, again, we still use Cronone, and we think that that's a far superior product to the, the intramuscular injection. We really think that this is going to be a legitimate alternative for patients.